Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an Everlane try on haul and it's actually been a really long time since I've done an Everlane haul, but I took advantage of the long weekend sale that they had recently. I think it was like 20% off almost everything and I got quite a few pieces. So I thought that we could unbox them and try them on together. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm five foot two just for reference. I'm a little bit on the shorter side, so I will have all of of my sizing and the pieces that I've ordered down below in the description box if you want to check it out but we're gonna go ahead and jump on in I think I ordered eight to ten pieces maybe ten pieces but two of them are one swimsuit I did order a swimsuit but let's get into it real quick side note for those of y'all who have been around on my channel for the past year do we feel like my hair is getting pretty dang long now around this time last year I ended up chopping it to like here it was super super short right before we bought our house in august and it's taken a little bit but i feel like it's grown quite a bit anyway back to the haul i got a mixture of stuff and i think i bought everything on sale they had some stuff that wasn't on sale that i i don't know i didn't even mess with because i was like eventually they're probably gonna put it on sale i'm not 100 percent sure that all this stuff is still gonna be available but it's definitely worth checking out the links in the description box because i got this stuff at really really good prices and a couple of these things are pieces that i've tried before but in a different color so i already knew i loved the style and i loved the fit so i just took advantage of the sale and like stocked up on some stuff. So first up are a pair of jeans and these are the original cheeky jean. I have these in the off-white. I have them in black and now I have them in this stunning chocolate brown. Guys, I feel like this color has been so trendy lately, even for spring and summer, which is kind of odd because I typically think about a deep brown being like a winter or fall color, but I have seen so many people wearing like brown matching sets. I've just seen a lot of like this very rich deep brown lately. So I got these and I got them in the crop. So the 26 inch inseam and I know that I already like the fit of these because like I said I have them in white and in black but this brown guys especially if I did want to wear them in the fall I could wear it with like a black boot or a cream boot or like a loafer be so cute and I do like the original cheeky jean because I feel like it hugs the like hips and butt area a little bit tighter than the what are those called is it the uh, I so many denim brands now that I've tried. What what are those called? The is it the mom jean? Is it 90s cheeky jean? The original cheeky jean. Oh my gosh, y'all. Has a zipper fly, which I prefer over the button flies. And the 90s cheeky jean has the button fly. So that's a distinguisher between the two jeans. Also, I feel like these work really well if you have smaller hips like I do. I feel like my hips are pretty narrow. So these actually work really well. The 90s cheeky jean, I feel like there's always a little bit of extra fabric in my hips and thighs. They fit very differently. These fit a little bit more like hugging to your body. They're so cute. So I'm so excited to try these ones on. Okay, how cute are these? Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. They just fit so good. And I had been cuffing my other pair last fall, but I don't even think you need to cuff them. I'm five foot two, I got the 26 inch inseam. I feel like they work perfect with heels. And then maybe if I wore them with a sneaker, I would just roll the bottom once. But honestly, I feel like they work really well. Make my legs look long. I've got it on with this Alex Mill button down and I just love this outfit as it is. And then also my YSL bag and these Alohas heels, but how? cute i just think the brown jean is so unique too it's a fun take on a pair of denim so love these okay next up i got this really cute tank again all this stuff was on sale how adorable is this little crop tank it's cropped but it's not too short i think it's gonna hit honestly right where the jeans end which is perfect so you don't have extra fabric but it also isn't like up by your boobs so I like that. And I got it in this beautiful fog color. It's almost between a gray and a sage. It's like a very dusty green blue. It's so pretty and I love all the texture on it as well. And then at the bottom, it has this really pretty darker piping here that also 
gives it a little bit of texture. So I am obsessed with this tank. Like I said, I'll have all my sizing info down below in the description box, like what size I got. I'm typically between an extra, extra small and an extra small at Everlane. And so typically I like things to fit me a little bit more fitted just because I am so short that if anything is like very baggy on me, I feel like it makes me look even smaller <laughs> and more like a child. So I like to wear pieces that are a little bit more fitted. And so I typically will size down, but I'll have that info down below. I just think it's so cute and you can wear it probably with the brown jeans, but also obviously shorts, white jeans, anything like that. It is so adorable. This is the tank and I love the way that it fits. It's actually the perfect length. You can see it hits right at the top of these shorts. These shorts are from Everlane. I can't remember what they're called, but I'll have them linked down below if they're still available. And I've got it paired with a white sneaker that are from Everlane and then my Celine bag. This is how I would style this tank. Of course, you could wear it with blue denim shorts, jeans, anything like that. It's a really easy top to style, but I really love all of the texture on it. One thing that I was surprised about is that it's actually not like super, super stretchy, like those tops from like the early 2000s. This looks like it would be a really, really stretchy material, but it fits nicely. And I just love the way that it looks with the white shorts. I saw this jean, this jean, this jacket. Did I just call this a jean? I saw this jacket when they launched it I think it was in the fall because they also launched it in brown. I have it in brown and then I was like, oh my gosh, I should have gotten the really cool pattern one because I think it's just so unique and so different than anything I have in my wardrobe. I got this jacket for I think like $23. That's a good deal. And I already have this jacket in brown. It's like a shacket. So I know it fits well and I, I'm just obsessed with the color combo, the pattern. It's not plaid. It's not striped. It, it's just very like, it's cool. It's very 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 cool and you can wear it with the brown pants you can wear it with blue denim black denim a boot i just feel like this is gonna be so so fun to style up for fall obviously it's like way too hot here right now in nashville to wear this i was thinking maybe i could take some of this stuff to new york with me because i'm leaving for new york in a few days and by the time you watch this video no i won't be in new york by the time you watch this video but i do think that it might be too hot there to bring this jacket but maybe i can take some of the other stuff it's just really cute so i'm gonna try this one on for you guys this is the jacket and I love this pattern so much. It definitely is a little bit tricky to style just because it doesn't match everything. I tried it on with some like blue denim shorts and I tried it on with like a lighter blue tank and I really feel like this jacket works best over very neutral plain pieces. So I've got on a charcoal tank. These are the original cheeky jean in the off-white color, some Dolce Vita heels, and then I've got on my Polen bag, which I feel like matches the whole outfit. But this is the jacket with the full look. I am just so obsessed with how fun of a statement piece this is though. Even though it's kind of crazy, I feel like this is gonna be a lot of fun to style up in the fall. It also does look really good with black denim. I tried it on with black denim shorts and that looked really good, but I didn't like the black denim with the dark tank. So threw on these lighter jeans instead. All right, I got another pair of some of my favorite leggings. These are the pocket leggings, the Perform pocket leggings. They have a pair that don't have pockets that are a little bit more of a thicker material, but they don't have pockets. And so I don't find them as functional as ones with pockets. What I really like about these is that they have pockets that are big enough for your cell phone, which is so convenient. So I got another pair of these because they were on sale and I just always reach for these. These ones are a little bit more stretchy than like my girlfriend collective ones. So when I'm running or doing anything super high impact, I'll wear like my girlfriend collective leggings or leggings specifically for running. But these are perfect for like Pilates or wearing on a plane or just wearing around the house. They're a little bit more comfy because they're a little bit thinner. So I love them, but they're not thin to the point where like you can see your underwear through them because I have them in green as well and in black and I just love them. I've like hiked in them and everything so they are really great to have. So I grabbed another pair. These are the leggings and I just love these so much. They're obviously just a pair of black leggings but they're the perfect length for me too being five foot two. I feel like the inseam is perfect. 
I love that there's a big enough pocket to slip your phone in and you can also fit like a small card holder wallet in there as well. I would say these are mildly compressive. There are definitely more compressive leggings out there for high impact workouts, but they are not like super, super stretchy, if that makes sense. So you still do feel like you're being held in there. Really high-waisted, super cute, very flattering. There's no pocket in the back, but there is one here in the front. So you have a little pocket for a key and then obviously side pockets for your phone. Next up is a shirt that I have been wanting for a really long time. And then I saw it went on sale and I was so excited because they didn't have very many sizes left, but they did have my size. So I was pumped. This is a cropped button down shirt and I just adore this pattern and color. It is so cute. It's not necessarily a peach, but it's a little bit more of a warm toned beige. On camera, it's coming off like a little bit, I don't know if it's coming off green or it might just be what I'm seeing, but it really is the most like, stunning color in person. And I just thought I could wear it unbuttoned and like roll the sleeves. I definitely am gonna take this one to New York, wear it with some denim shorts, I think would be so, so cute. I am so obsessed with this top, guys. It is so easy to wear. And honestly, I feel like something like this, the, wrinkle, the wrinklier, the better. It just lays so beautifully and I love the color, the stripes on it, the buttons, the pocket here in the front, the thickness of it. I just think it is the perfect relaxed button down to wear with any type of jean shorts. I've got it on with the Agoldi D shorts. These are some of my favorite shorts and it just works perfectly because it's a cropped button down but these shorts are high enough rise where they meet perfectly. I am 100% gonna wear this like exact look in New York. I feel like it's so easy, but it's still a little bit elevated with the button down instead of just wearing a tank top. So got it on with my Everlane sneakers and this little Everlane crossbody bag. But this top is one of my favorite things so far. I'm so happy that this was part of the sale because it's just as good as I thought it would be. Let's do the swimsuit. And I don't think I've ever been this excited for swimsuits because I I just love Everlane's swimwear. It's some of my absolute favorite, 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 favorite. <laughs> Here we are again. And I have these bottoms in black and in a blue floral pattern. And I just love them because they aren't super cheeky. In fact, they're hardly cheeky at all, but they're not unflattering. So if you are a little bit more modest like me, you're gonna love these, but I was so torn between this vibrant green and they had a muted purple. And I decided to go with the green because I don't know, I kind of feel like this color green is super flattering on all of skin. Maybe it's just me, maybe that's not facts, but I think this color looks really good on me and I'm just, I'm such a fan of green anyway. And I just thought this was so fun and vibrant. So I ended up getting this top. So this is a new style of top for me. I don't have one of these, but I just, just adore Everlane Swim, so I was like, it's gonna be fine. So I'm really excited to try this one on. I love any type of top that has straps that are like this and not crossed anywhere in the suit because I just, I really will like sacrifice a cute swimsuit for just not weird tan lines. I would rather just have super normal tan lines than a funky swimsuit. So I am pretty simple when it comes to swimsuits but I found a style and a brand that I just really like. And so both of these were on sale and I am so pumped to wear them this summer. This is the swimsuit and I love this color. I think it's so fun. The top is definitely a win. I love the fit of this top. I think it's super comfy and I love the thin straps on it. It has padding in it so you can leave the padding in or you can remove it. And then the back of it is a hook clasp. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of like putting a bra on so you have a different adjustments that you can make on the back so you can fit it tighter or looser. And then I've got on the bottoms in an extra small and the top in an extra small. I didn't size down in any of this because my past swimsuits, I have an extra small as well. And I really like the fit of the bottoms. They are really high-waisted and then also not super revealing. So 
The swimsuit definitely feels like a win and I'm so happy I went with the green. I think this is just gonna be really, really fun for summer. Next up, I got a pair of shorts and I think these are called the boxer short. These are a linen short and I just am so obsessed with the print. Isn't this so cute, this little gingham? Oh, I love, and it's got pockets here on the side and then one large pocket here in the back and it's got a stretchy waistband and I feel like these are gonna fit perfect. They are a little bit longer for a short, so they should be pretty modest. You should feel pretty comfortable with them. Might take them to New York, wear it with like a sneaker and a little little tank, that'd be so cute. So yeah, I just thought they'd be really comfy and breezy. Okay, I kind of feel like this could also be an outfit for New York. The shorts, guys, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got these. They actually come in a few different colors, but I just love the way that they fit. They're super high-waisted, but they're not too short in the leg. I love wearing it with a cropped shirt like this. This. Obviously, you could wear it with like a white button down and just keep it super like loose and flowy But I just ugh, I love these so much I think they're a really really good length and I've got it on with the Everlane white sneakers this little woven Madewell bag and it's just cute for summer. Next up is a tank, and this is one of their ribbed cotton tanks, and I have this in a mock neck version, but I don't wear mock necks in the summer, so I decided to get it in the actual tank version, and this one I did not size down on because a lot of their ribbed pieces are very, very fitted, and I didn't want it to be super tight, so I ended up just getting an extra small in this one. They had it in so many different colors. I almost got it in two colors. I don't know why I didn't. I was really torn between between this deeper like charcoal color and then also they had this really pretty taupe color and I don't know why I didn't get both of them because now I'm like these are so handy to have I should have gotten both regrets anyway it's like the perfect little length too so it's not gonna be too cropped it's not gonna be too long wear it with your denim shorts wear it with the white original cheeky jean or shorts and just a really good basic to have I love all of their basics of course this is the tank and I am so obsessed with like like how stretchy and comfy it is. I'm really glad that I didn't size down because I think it fits perfectly. If I sized down, it might have been a little bit more like snug and pulled, but I think this fits really well. I love this color. I wish I had gotten it in more colors, but we're gonna move past that. I love the neckline and the cut of this tank though. I'm definitely gonna have to figure out a bra situation though because the racer back bra only kind of works. So either doing like sticky boobs or I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out the bra but I think it's really cute and I've got it on with some Everlane shorts. I love the brown on brown, same bag and then same shoes. So lots and lots of neutrals going on, but you guys know I love beige. I love anything neutral, so it works for me. And the last piece that I got, I am so excited about. So I feel like this is a really fun shirt because you know, it's orange, it's gingham, but it doesn't feel very country to me you know you know what i mean sometimes with the gingham especially in this color get a little bit southern feeling and this i feel like it's you know it's still gingham but i feel like you could wear this with like white denim and it is the kind of slouchy loose fit too that i feel like it looks more like cool girl than like we'll see i'll try it on this one definitely runs like very wide so i would definitely size down i size down and i think this is still gonna be a little bit oversized so i would definitely size down maybe one to two sizes we'll find out when i try it on this is the gingham top and i feel like i have got it styled to where it doesn't look super southern but i love whenever button-ups are just very like slouchy and open like this and i think it lays really really nicely i love the sleeve length i love the fact that it's not red it's this really pretty like muted orange and then i think it looks really good with black denim shorts i threw on a more modern bag just because i felt like if i put a basket bag with this it would have been again a little bit too farmy i also threw on with sneakers so this is like a very casual way to wear it obviously you could throw it on with blue denim you know white denim 
can wear a bunch of different ways, but I just love any type of slouchy button down. But that is everything that I bought during the Everlane sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box. So if there's anything that you're interested in, be sure to check it out below this video. And if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.